In this video of csharp.net, we are going to cover about delegates. The first time we saw delegate was in data types where we noticed that delegate is a part of the reference type. So here we will see like delegates will be storing the reference of a particular method. Make sure the signature of the delegate and method including the return type and the parameter must be same. So the question is like why should we store the reference of a method in a delegate when we call when we can directly invoke a method. But by the time we will start working with the event driven programming we will notice like an event will not be able to carry a method in itself. At that particular time the delegate will be playing an intermediate role where with the help of a delegate an event can call a particular method on the event. Apart from that we will also notice on the callback methodologies like in multi-threading we will notice like whenever I want to pass a particular method for a particular thread or some other task in a callback thing we will use the delegate. A delegate at least will have the reference of one method but if we want to store multiple method reference in a single delegate so that all the methods will be invoked in a same sequence in which we have stored the reference that delegate will be called the multicast delegate. Multicast delegate means a delegate having the reference of more than one method of same signature of course. So whichever delegate you will be creating here would be referenced from the system.delegate class. So let's see practically how we can implement the delegate in our c -sharp programming. So in this example of delegate as you can see I started my program with defining a delegate using delegate keyword and the name is my del. This delegate will store the reference of a method who's returning an integer and taking two integer parameters as both the methods here are having the same structure. So I'm good to assign the reference of these methods into this delegate. So let's try to do that like my del, del is equal to new my del and then inside the parenthesis I can pass the name of the method. So I successfully added the reference of add method to this delegate and as soon as I will invoke this I'll have to pass two parameters right here and this will return the integer type data. So let me store that inside the variable called result and now I can print that right here. Alright so if I'll execute you see my delegate is capable enough to call this add method since it stores its reference. Similarly after that if you will assign the reference of any other method let's say multiply and again I will invoke that so let's print it again and here you will find alright I used int keyword again so let me remove that alright let's execute it and you see first of all I assigned the reference of add so it added 10 and 30 later I override the reference of add by the reference of multiply method and now it got multiplied and gave 300 but now rather than assigning the reference of multiply method let's use plus equals to operator which will actually make it multicast that simply means now this del will have the reference of add and after add it will have the reference of multiply method and I'll not call it again and again I will just call it once because now it carries the both the reference so let's execute it and you will see out of two methods I got the result of only one that I added at the last. So does it mean it does not call the add method? Let's find by pressing F11. So first of all I added the reference of add method then multiply and as soon as I invoked that first of all it went to add it gave the value then it came to multiply it again gave the value so the last method which got invoked was value in saved in this result and we printed that itself but not for the any other method. So whenever you use the multicast delegate make sure your delegate as well as your method should return a void. Like as I did in this program your delegate method 
all are returning a void. So let's do it again. My del del is equal to add, then del plus equals to multiply. And after that, I will invoke the delegate with a couple of values like 30, 50. And when I'll execute, I'll get both the values all together because now methods are not returning anything, but they are doing a complete operation. And you also observe that methods are getting invoked in the very same sequence. In this sequence, I have added the reference inside the delegate. 